Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Serpentines from Legends Playing Cards. Uh, now the Serpentines, they're a classically themed line of playing cards. And what happened was, or what Legends is telling us, is that they discovered this 100 year old uh, pinnacle deck at the world of playing cards. And they just fell in love with it. They loved the classic back and they loved the gorgeous faces. And then what they did was they worked with another uh, playing card collector, a gentleman named Ken Lodge, and they actually tracked down the original artwork. And, and then so what Legends did is that they worked with their own artists and they uh, reworked the back design, they converted all the files so that they were print ready, and they just added all their little special touches, like some new pips, and a custom ace, and a custom joker, and um, that was all done by Stuart Palm. Uh, and if you remember, Stuart Palm is the designer and the creator of the Gnostic deck. The Serpentines had a printed run of about 1,000 decks in each color. There's a classic state blue and a terra cotta red, and uh, both of them, you know, done in the classic uh, colors of classic playing cards. And so for the sake of this review, we're going to look at the red cards. So let's take a look at them right now. The tuck case on the Serpentine says Legends Playing Card Company across the front. It says Serpentine and Playing Cards. And of course, there is this symbol of these two snakes kind of wrestling in the center. Um, it says Legends Playing Cards Company on both sides. The bottom has a little a UPC and some ad copy about Legends. And then the top says Poker Size and Emerald Finish. And then the other thing that's really great is there's no tuck seal. I love uh, decks that don't have a tuck seal. There's also this kind of old school fatty tongue on the tuck, which is nice. And then the back design of the tuck case is, of course, the back design of the cards. Um, the face does have embossing, all of the wording here. Uh, most of the white that you're seeing, that's all uh, raised, and it makes for a really nice classic finish for this tuck. Well, that's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Printed at a brand new factory at Legends. They were put on uh, European cardstock and they are traditionally cut. Uh, and they do have a really beautiful, perfect printing registration. That means that the, these super thin micro back um, borders uh, are, are going to be the same from car to card. And so that's extremely uh, important. Uh, these cards ferrule really well. Uh, there is the new emerald finish on it, like I said, so it has a great snap, has a great feel in between um, maybe their diamond finish and their softer uh, classic finish. These cards have a more papery feeling to them than the diamond finish, and so uh, I think they're going to do really well uh, in the humid and the arid climates. But in short, this is a fantastic handling deck, and it has a very competitive price point. And if you'd like to learn more about this deck, I recommend going to legendsplayingcards.com. The back design just has an extremely classic feel to it. Again, like I said, micro thin white borders there um, with a kind of a dual uh, red border going into that. Um, you kind of have this diamond design on the top and the bottom with uh, a circle design in the center. And then just these images of snakes and uh, snakes bodies all throughout. There's no heads or tails, okay? So you're not looking at actual snakes, but what they've done is they've taken the vine work of a traditional deck and kind of made it look like snake bodies. So it does kind of have a very slippery, kind of like eel-like feel to it. But again, like I said, very classic looking, uh, very beautiful deck of cards. With this deck, of course, you're gonna get two jokers. You're gonna get your black and white joker and then your color joker. It's just a, a jester and he's uh, charming a snake out of a basket. And then your ace of spades is pretty plain. It is just a simple ace of spades, which is kind of cool. I mean, how often do you see that, right? And then your fancy ace is going to be your ace of diamonds. Um, so it says Serpentine across the front, playing cards, and Legends Playing Card Company. Your pips and indice cards are standard, standard faces, and uh, standard numerics. Your court cards are going to be very uh, old school. It's a very retro looking design. They're very similar to the Arco courts, but then probably even older than that. Hey guys, just wanted to grab the camera real quick and show you a close-up of some of these cards. Here are your two jokers, your black and white, and your color. And here are your two aces, your ace of spades and the ace of diamonds. Here's a close-up look at the back design of the red deck, as well as a few of the court cards. And of course, you can always use your own camera controls to stop and take a closer look. 
Well, that is pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy and twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.